Hey guys, so this is going to be a slightly different video than I usually post on my channel. Uh, I decided I wanted to try something out new, and also I just really wanted to share this with somebody because I feel like I'm crazy and I'm the only person seeing this. So I just wanted to make a video about it and explain why it's so weird to me. So yesterday I was on Social Blade, and I found this channel, number 123 on the list, called all for tube kids and I went and I looked at their page on social blade and they've gained 1.13 million subscribers in the month of November so I was like how did they gain that many subscribers they must post like a lot and like really good stuff so I went to their channel and at first it just seems like a family vlog channel okay some kind of weird titles contacting scary spirits with a Ouija board during our slumber party that's kind of weird seems like a little clickbaity then the next one scary paranormal activity in our house moving things scaring us which is also just like weird phrasing it's just like, it sounds like somebody speaking in broken English. Scary paranormal activity in our house, moving things, scaring us. I don't know. And I just scrolled down some more, and then all of a sudden I started seeing all of these videos with creepy clowns in the thumbnails. Titles like, Scary Killer Clown Kick Dad in the Face Prank Fail on Girl. I feel like there's supposed to be more verbs in that sentence or something, it's all just nouns. Scary Killer Clown Kicked, that's one verb, Dad in the Face Prank Fail on Girl. Do you need more verbs than that? So this channel seemed to like not really be getting that many subscribers any month, and then this past month they gained a million subscribers. I mean, you can see that spike, it's huge. So I wanted to go back to where that started happening and just look to see what started that. And it looks like their first creepy clown video was posted October 22nd. So that's when they started gaining all these subscribers. And since then, literally every video, or almost every video, has a scary killer clown in the title and in the thumbnail. And it's all things like, scary killer clown found in woods, girl scared running. Scary killer clown takes off mask and cleans outside our house. Okay, so it's just like a maid clown? Killer clown breaks into our house and scares us. Scary killer clown stalks our house. Scary killer clown stalks and harasses us girls. See what I mean about the wording? Scary killer clown stalks and harasses us girls. That's not something that a girl would, like a little girl would write. Anyway, I should actually show you the videos. We'll watch their very first video. People yeah. with kids in the neighborhood thought that there was a yeah. creepy person or clown or and something in the woods behind us near a barn. So... We decided to check it out. Yeah, and see for ourselves. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good exposition right there. They give you everything you need to know about this video. Some people have been reporting a clown sighting. They decided to go check it out for themselves, as any reasonable person would. They're gonna go out into the woods and check it out. So this is an 18 minute video, and you don't see the clown until around 10 minutes in. So this is just like a balmy, long 10 minute intro to what the entire 18 minute video is about. So I'm just gonna skip to like where the action starts to happen. I'm around 10 minutes in. <laughs> I'm not gonna let anything get there. The only thing I hear back here is like, like, uh, is it hyenas or foxes? Or? I don't know. Hyenas. I'm gonna pause it right there. I know we still haven't seen the clown yet, but... I get this guy's not a biology expert. Even if you've just seen Lion King, you know that hyenas are in Africa. Have you ever heard anybody in the U.S. complaining about a hyena in their backyard? That's creepy. What? That thing up there. Yeah, what is that right there? Okay, this is where I started to realize that this is like definitely fake, is that this is just like a, either a tree house or like a hunting deer stand that somebody would set up. Not like a creepy thing at all, but they're using this to sort of like set the mood of creepiness. Like, ooh, somebody built something in our backyard. That's just like a tree house or something. Like, somebody, somebody put that up there, huh? Somebody really put that up there? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's how tree houses are made, buddy. This is still taking way too long, so let's skip ahead to like when they actually see the clown. What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Deer. Those are leaves falling. No, it's a tree up there. It's just the wind, honey. There's nothing to worry about. I like how the dad's playing coy. He's like, no, nah, this will be more believable if I don't believe you that there's anything out here. Kids in their imagination. That he's just, he's taking that one step further. That whole, uh, I, I'm the adult, so I can't believe you guys. Kids in their imaginations. Yeah, but I'm freaking scared. I'm freaking scared. That's another thing about these videos. They say freaking so much. It's like painful to me. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the first time we ever see the clown. I'd like to replay it so that we can get a glimpse of where this clown has been hiding. 
This clown, <laughs> I don't know if it was their intention in this video, but what I got from this is that the clown has just been standing in this tall grass for the past like week or however long that people have been complaining. Like he, this is where he lives, is just in this tall grass and they ha happen to like stumble upon his like living place. Or maybe he lives on top of that platform on those trees. He just lives up there. <laughs> Either way, I don't know why it made me laugh just to see him. Just this clown standing in the middle of the grass and now he's brushing this grass out of the way with whatever it's a shovel. He's brushing the grass out of the way with a shovel. Daddy! What? There's a freaking clown! There's a freaking clown! There's a freaking clown! There's a freaking clown! Here he comes now, shovel and all. First off, if he does live in the woods, he's got a remarkably clean clown costume. Doesn't look dirty at all. Everything about him looks very clean. I guess kudos to him for that. <laughs> So now, I think what I'm hearing is the clown laughing. Really, it sounds just like a middle-aged woman laughing. <laughs> That's the menacing laugh of the clown that lives in your backyard. Ha 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 ha! What is that? It doesn't even sound convincing. Like, it sounds like a forced middle-aged woman's laugh. It's not like a genuinely menacing, like, crazy person's ha 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 ha! It's just ha ha! This part's great. It's this intense battle scene between the dad and the clown. Okay, here goes dad. He, he sort of jukes out the clown. You can see him doing a little juke move there. Meanwhile, the clown is laughing. Okay, so for some reason the clown's not swinging the shovel. It's just sort of holding it like, like this, which makes it super easy for the dad to just grab the shovel. And now, now it's just tug of war, baby. It's, you know, strongest man will win. It's this old dude from Jersey, I guess, from his accent, versus this clown who's just a middle-aged woman in a costume. You know who's gonna win. They tug of war for a little while, and he's able to... Okay, here's the thing, is that the dad doesn't kick the clown at all, doesn't try to shove an elbow at the clown. They're literally just pulling back and forth, yanking, trying to get the shovel out of each other's hand. The clown's not kicking the dad, the dad's not kicking the clown. Somebody use their feet. That's how you can tell that this is just like the dad's wife or, I don't know, his girlfriend or something in a clown costume, because he's not kicking her. You have feet for a reason, for kicking clowns. Dad gets the shovel, breaks free. Please keep going. I'll catch up, don't worry about me. That's the heroic dad factor. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I'm making $15,000 at least off this YouTube ad money. I like how they vlog this entire thing too. They also haven't called the police. They're just walking through the woods. Uh, yeah, the safest thing to do at this point would just be to walk back to our house and act like nothing happened. So that's their plan as of right now, I guess. By the way, this video is 18 minutes long and it contains a lot of just unnecessarily long shots of people walking and breathing heavily. Like this has just been 20 seconds of I'm out of breath. I like the uh, music that they put in this. Like if this happened to your family, this, this is traumatizing event, this clown comes out of the woods behind your house, it attacks your dad, your dad wrestles the shovels away, shovel away. You know, it's this whole traumatic experience and you get a, somehow you catch it all on video. And then, and then you decide, hey, we should upload it to YouTube and we should put scary dramatic music behind it. Cause that's what you see when you see real tragic events happen, right? Wait, did you lock the door? Yeah. All right, now here comes the clown up the hill. You know, for whatever reason, the clown decides not to cut his losses at losing his shovel. It's probably some teen punk in the neighborhood just messing with us. <coughs> it's probably some teen punk in the neighborhood just messing with us. Or it's some middle-aged woman. <laughs> Teenage punk? I mean, this dude This dude is like, it's just the accumulation of somebody who has watched many horror movies and figured out exactly what all the adults in horror movies say. Oh, kids and their imaginations. Go on without me, I'll be the hero. And then it's just some teen punk in the neighborhood. All things that are said by people in horror movies and not real life. Okay. <laughs> now it's inside just pressing its face up against the window like a real bad guy does. When's the last time you saw somebody trying to break into somebody's house and they were just pressed up against the window? It's locked, it's locked, it's locked, is it? It's locked! And clowns can't break through glass. It's a well-known fact, just like vampires can't go out in the sunlight. Clowns can't break glass. Get away from the door, get away from the door! Get away from the door, just get away from the door! I've got an idea, let's call the police! They're back at home, they have, I hope they have a landline, or at least their cell phones on them. No, let's take, we gotta take matters into our own hands, let's just hide until it goes away. It'll probably go away, right? It's come this far. So that's like the end of all of the clown action in this video. If you liked their video, you should go check out their channel. They've got around uh, 900,000 other videos about this clown. Uh, not actually, I think they do have like 50 though. 
So that's crazy. It's just crazy that so many people actually believe this is real in the first place. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe to this channel. And if you really liked it, then maybe hit that bell next to the subscribe button. It's basically just like a notification button. So every time I post a new video, you'll get notified. So you know you won't miss any of my videos. If you want me to make more videos like this, I don't really know what genre this is, but just, uh, I guess comment if you want me to look at any other weird videos on the internet and give my commentary. You can check out some of my other videos right here. Subscribe right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.